Hello everybody, it's Fat Man from the Holler. And as always, if you like my videos, hit like and subscribe. This is going to be a shorter video, but it's pertaining to the casting. And as you can see, I label DY on gun lube, and then black powder 44 caliber revolver, and then black powder 50 caliber rifle for the ammo. So it's always good to have that proper storage and write down what things are for reasons of actually making sure you keep your things in your category, your tools, in your equipment, in your materials in order. And I just wanted to make this little short video to address that just for helping people stay on track. Because, I mean, for me, it works like that. And then you can go to different places like Harbor Freight or Amazon, and you can also buy the little cases for, I mean, probably six to twelve dollars in that range. Like if you're, you can get a box where it holds a lot of different type stuff. And I'll show you in another video how I have actually used my boxes for creating fishing weights, is where I started doing my casting, and I elevated from doing the casting of fishing weights into ammo. And I also make some types of toys and. I do other little DIY casting, which requires green sand, and you can make DIY green sand out of clay, cat litter, non-scented, and play grade sand, and it has to be sifted, and you have to add water to it, and it's a process. There's many different things that I know how to do, and depending on the feedback that I get, if this resonates to the old and new viewers, or just viewers in general, even the not subscribed viewers, the feedback will definitely be determination of what kind of content i create because some feed sometimes i post videos and i don't get a lot of feedback and then sometimes i get a pretty good little sufficient thing and i'm all and i have all my links so i'm on facebook to fat man from the holler dy music missouri backwoods hillbilly fishing and that's about fishing with cane poles and doesn't matter about what kind of equipment you use just the love for fishing and different methods and then I have Jim Sapp's Backwoods Farm to represent my little hobbyist farm and all the stuff I did. And I created all this stuff initially to get started, to show family and friends some of the stuff that I do that may be near or far away so I could keep in contact with those folks. So I'm just illustrating some of the things that I know and passing some of my knowledge on. And depending on somebody's expertise, you can take it or leave it or... You can just watch it for just to see how goofy I am or whichever category, however it pertains to you. But thank everybody for all the feedback and all the support and much love and I'm out.